Ironing is one of those things that for many people is a necessary but dreaded evil. Yet with the right iron and a little know-how, you can get it done quicker and have more time doing the things you enjoy most. Firstly, it's worth investing in a good steam iron. The one we're using today is the Perfect Care Steam Generator from Philips. Then you'll need a water sprayer to dampen down the shirts. Lastly, invest in a good ironing board. The wider the better, as this will make it quicker. So, to the technique. Start with the sleeve and the cuff. Lay the sleeve completely flat and steam will power right through the fabric, ironing both sides at once. It's really important to press down on the heel of the iron and not on the tip, otherwise you'll end up with ripples and creases you can't get out. If you don't like a crease down the centre of your sleeve, just press up to the edge for a softer line. Move on to the yoke. And then we go into the collar, which is the trickiest bit. Give it a stretch out and just go from one side to the other, remembering not to press on the front of the iron. We don't want a hard crease in the front edges, so we're just going to press the centre back. And then the trick is to do up the collar. Then you can work your way around the shirt without it going everywhere. Then iron the front panels, giving it a pull to straighten out those seams. Move on to the back. And finally, the front, going between the buttons, not over them. Then our final tip is to place your shirt on a hanger for 10 minutes. Let it cool down, and then it's ready to go. OK, so you've got your perfectly ironed shirt. You don't want to spoil it with a pair of trousers that aren't quite as sharp as they could be. So the first thing to do is find the centre crease in the front. Match up the inseams and lay them on top of each other and that gives you the position for the crease. Just mark that in at the bottom and then we go to the top. Get inside the trouser and find the seams at the top. Match those up and mark those in as well. Now if you've got a flat front trouser you need to stop the crease about 6 inches. That's about 18 centimetres from the waistband. But if you've got a pleated trouser you can run the crease right into the pleat and if you've got two pleats on the trouser it will always be the first pleat. So we've marked the top and the bottom. Now, laying the trouser flat, we'll press in that crease. Opt for an iron with steam which penetrates even thicker fabrics like tweed to leave a clean, crisp crease. And because you're only pressing and not ironing, you won't get that dreaded shine. Just press down and let the steam do its work. When you get to the top, it's a good idea to just pull the pocket lining back to avoid leaving an impression. Always set the front crease first, as once that's in position, then you can lay the trouser flat and press in the back crease. Then, once you've done the front and the back creases, you can just gently glide over the centre of the trouser and any creases will just disappear with minimal effort. Now you're nearly ready to go, but you've pulled your suit jacket out of the wardrobe and it has a few creases. Keep your jacket on the hanger, hold the iron up vertically to your jacket and press the steam trigger continuously, moving the iron in downward motions over the creased areas. It's also great if you have a delicate dress that needs a quick refresh and you don't have time to get the ironing board out. And that's it. Your ironing done in double quick time. Now you're dressed to impress thanks to a little know-how. <laughs>